welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh and this is Josh. Hi. And we're here today because we're going to do a challenge. Uh, basically, we want to see if we can get a plane that costs less than $100 to go over 100 miles 100 an hour. 100 miles an hour, yes. So 100 is the number. 100 and 100. A little play both ways on Yes, that. a little fun there. So what we're going to do right now is we have a radar gun that we have with us here today. And we're actually going to see if this thing right works there. accurately, first of all. We don't want to make you guys think that we're doctoring anything. So no. we have a radar gun, so you you know, because in the past I've said this plane's flying easily 100 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. We're going to know for sure. And that was just a guess, but yeah. That was a guess. Science. Now we have the hard fact. Yeah, now we got science. My friend here doesn't think we can do it. Well, I, I think it, it, it depends on the plane, really. Yeah, but anything's possible. Anything is possible. We'll see what happens. But let's get to our test. Let's do it. All right, ready? And go. We got 13 miles an hour. Well, my turn? Yeah, okay. My turn. My turn. Let's do okay. it. Ready. Whoa, 15. <laughs> my good friend has beat me by a couple miles an hour. If I built an airplane like Josh Bixler, it wouldn't go very fast. Hmm. I need to build an airplane like Josh Scott. I think this and, caused a little bit of drag, so you might want to take that into consideration. Yeah, but what I'm talking about is a nice thin profile, aerodynamic. Yeah. Things like that. Well, why don't right. we go inside? You yeah, let's go inside. Water. Let's see what we're okay. working with. Nothing like a brisk morning jog to yes. get, you, get you going. And we learned a lot too. What? That we're out of shape. That wasn't my best, yeah. my best speed. But sure. luckily, we're here to talk about planes, not Yeah, athletics. Yeah, we want to give you guys the most fun for the least amount of money. And everybody likes going fast, yes. right? Yes, maximum uh, fun, minimum bucks. Yeah, right. So anything under $100, we're trying to get it to go over 100 miles an hour. So yeah. that sounds like fun. Because we're cheap. So uh, what kind of plane are we working with? Well, you were actually my inspiration, brother. Ah. Uh, yeah, actually, I was thinking, what do I build to get over 100 miles an hour? And I thought, Josh Scott. That's immediately. Okay. Yeah, well, as I was talking about out there, I knew I wasn't going to be faster than you because I got a lot more weight and my midsection's a little bit bigger. And it's more drag. More drag. You okay. got it. You got it. But man, you're the perfect model. You're thin, you're light, you're, you're agile. You're like a running gazelle. It's coming from you, that means something creepy, weird. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, That's okay. let's move on. Speaking of lightness, uh, we're actually going to build this airplane out of foam. Out of foam? Foam. You think foam? that's going to hold up? Foam, carbon fiber, and tape to be exact. All right, let's see it. Let's see it? You want to see, see it? it? I have my it's doubts. This. You were my, uh, my motivation here, and uh, here it is. That's cute. You like that? It's got a beanie hat on. It has a beanie hat on. Actually, this is, this is your beanie. You probably wonder what was going on. Right. No drag. So we're going to take this off. Okay. Here's the business end here. Look at that cute little prop. Isn't that awesome? Okay. And look, look Explain. It's, it's foam, tape, and carbon fiber. Yeah. It's going to break apart in a million pieces. It's not going to break apart, man. It's heavy, for one thing. Well, yeah, kind of are these weights right here? Those are, those are lead weights. weights. Yeah, yeah, balance is everything. We talked about balance in previous episodes. And uh, with uh, fast flying airplanes, you generally want a little bit more nose weight. This thing feels like a brick. You I'm don't not, see it, huh? I'm not sure about I'm it. I'm pretty confident in this here. OK, well, this thing is made out of foam. It is made out of foam. And we have some, like, this stuff right here is what you yeah, use, right? That's exactly Normal what I used, actually. Definitely. 100 miles an hour, this stuff is going to hold up. Is that what you're saying? No, look at you. Look at that. Breaking that I mean, I am up. strong. That was gonna be bit. my uh, my repair later, but well, you know what? Though? It's not just foam. Look, we got two pieces of carbon fiber. Okay. And actually, so give it a little strength. Yep, a little, strain. Shoe. Yep, a little, a little strength. And, and the tape adds a lot to it. Really? Yeah. Now I didn't do the best job with the tape, unfortunately. It's a little wrinkly. That's but okay. Uh, that's okay. That's why we put a really big motor with a really tiny prop in the front. You know what? I have a lot of faith in you. Um, I've seen you put together some really cool planes. Thank you. But for under a hundred bucks, I'm not sure that this thing is gonna go. You don't like this, do you? I, it's not that I don't like it, I just don't think it's gonna happen. I think it is. You wanna bet? Yeah. Totally. You wanna make a bet? Totally do. And now, okay. I'll, I'll be honest though, I haven't flown this over 100 miles an hour, so I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, but I know it flies, because no, I did take it around once. Let's make a bet. If this thing does not go over 100 miles an hour, All right. my friend Josh Bixler gets to get the Josh Scott treatment, and I will pick out what you wear for our next episode. And what I wear? Do Good, because I don't have the beanie hat anyway. Well, you know what? That gives me an idea. If I win, you get to Stream wear my hair. Yeah. Buzz it off. Yeah. You, you get to the, the sport the uh, Joshy do. Okay. What do you think? Uh, so, all right, fine, fine. Okay. So we got it. We got the it terms? all on the table. Okay, so the terms. There's the terms. Is I lose, I wear your an you, outfit you pick out. Yeah, yeah, right. You lose, hair gets shaved. Shave the head. Hair's, hair's gone. gone. Hair's, hair's gone. gone. So you're telling me this thing is going to go over 100 miles an hour. Actually, you know what? I wouldn't bet my wardrobe on it if I didn't believe it. Okay. 
Yeah. And it's under 100 bucks. I know it's under 100 bucks, because actually, look over there. See that little white piece of paper? Yeah. Check that out. Tell it's your it's price at. list? Yep, that's in my price list. So what does that all come with? Well, you got your motor, mm -hmm. speed control, yep. radio, foam, mm -hmm. carbon fiber, uh -huh. even the metal spinner, my friend. Wait, the radio? The radio, yes. This says the radio is 23 bucks. It is 23 bucks. Now, this is your radio. Well, that is my radio, DXA. yeah. Yeah, that's my DXA. We did a review on this. Yeah, we did. This thing's like 400 bones. This here would be more than capable to fly this, and it's only 23 bucks. It's a so four channel fly. Hobby King radio. So you're gonna fly it with this? Well, actually, this was at Chad's when I was building at my house. I just put my radio in it. All right. Yeah, we're Whatever good. Whatever you say. Whatever good. you say. Trying to catch me on the nitpicky details here. I just wanna be, I just wanna be real. We're gonna use the radar gun, like we said. Yes, we and are. So I'll just be out there holding it. So we got it on a tripod. You want me to die? Yeah. You like that? I don't oh, want you to die. There we go. And also, I don't trust you. I think you'll cheat. Okay. Because, you know, I think you really wanna see me. And what is that, HH Crew or Bugle Boy? Bugle Boy? Bugle Boy? No, Bugle Boy? it's Oshkosh. Oshkosh, my gosh. Let's see what happens. Let's do it. You ready? Right, let's go. You carry the radio gun, I'll grab the airplane. Right. I don't trust you. Carry your $400 radio if you want. So are you ready for this? I'm ready. All, All right. right, I'm gonna put this guy yeah. over here. Go out about 25 feet or so. Okay. Basically, my studly looks and his hair on the line here. So we gotta deliver on both ends. One of us is not gonna be happy at the end of this. Uh, prop, probably busted. From last review. This is where planes you know, go to that die. That was actually probably from like AT6 Texan review. All right. Okay, you ready to do this? Yes. All right, wind's coming out here. Okay. Radar gun's here. We gotta uh, fly either towards it or away from it, not across, common misconception. <laughs> It's already clocking. Smart little radar gun. It's fast, I'll give you that. Feel the need. Need for speed. That's from a movie. What do we got? 78. 78, we got Ooh. some work to do. 78. I'm a little nervous now. All right, here we come. What do we got, Chad? 73. 73, oh, getting worse. And the battery's dying. Battery's going. There you go. Now, am I supposed to give him another chance with the battery? All right, I am a man of grace, and he so is. I let him change the battery, even yes. though this battery is a little more expensive, isn't it? It is a little bit more expensive. I kept making go-arounds, and I kind of sucked all the juice out of my 1300 cell. So, so, what's that run you? We're yeah, still under. We're still under. We're still good. So, we're going to go ahead and see what this does. I'm a little nervous now, because I thought for sure I'd have his first whack, but, you know, he's a, he's a man of grace. He's going to give me another try. Yeah. Ready? He's still got 22 miles an hour to go. Yeah, I do. No good. I hope I didn't break the prop, because that would add to the price, wouldn't it? You know, I don't even know if we clocked that. I don't know if we caught it. Broke the prop. Broke the prop. All right. Well, we gotta go change the prop. If, if this doesn't work out, we'll just be 78 miles an hour. Gotta go to the prop shop. All right. All right. What changes have we made now? Well, we have a uh, six-four prop on it. Okay. We're gonna try it because okay. I really don't want to wear your clothes. So, what kind of speed control you got on this? You put. Oh, I, I still have the same speed control on it. And it's what? 30 amp. And how much are you pulling? Why so, are you asking me these questions? How much are you pulling? 60. 60? 60 amps. We're getting a hate mail about this. It's right. actually a uh, plush 30 amp review too. All right. What do you think? Whatever you want to say. All right. Good. Woo! Clocking already. All right. This darn wind. That's why I'm going to blame it on the wind. No, I'm not pulling for you at all. Yeah, that's fine. 80. Oh. 80. Go up to 80. Getting up there. Still you know, if I, was, if I was flying downwind, I think I'd be better off, huh? Excuses. You, you know, when people lose, there's always excuses that come into play. Oh, that's the end of the battery. Yeah. We're done. Actually, We're done here. Oh, Ooh. that didn't look good at all, especially not for you. Well, folks, I guess I'm going to be wearing uh, It'll be it'll look cool. It'll not it'll be presentable. And trendy. Do you remember the, the CG issue? Yeah. Okay, well when we put the battery in there, the CG moved back um, like 20%. Mm. And I was just so desperate to get out here. Yeah. I, I see thought, when people get desperate, when we're trying to accomplish feats that just aren't gonna happen, you do things that you normally wouldn't do. Your correct. brain your brain goes on well, vacation and it just Well you we put the stakes pretty high, man. And I really thought I had them on this one. Yeah. Sorry, man. All right, we're gonna try it again. Yes. yes. So the battle is over. I lost. He's gonna have to suffer the consequences, but I will. we didn't want to leave you guys hanging. We want to make sure that we find a way to get a yes. plane that costs less than $100. Yes. To 
fly over, over 100, 100 miles, miles an hour. An hour. Exactly. Right, so exactly. we have this beautiful one here. And we're going to continue trying until we get it. So yeah, yeah. we went back to drawing boards. This is uh, Chad Capter, director's design, and uh, I'm feeling optimistic. I'm not yeah. going to bet anything on it because I, I learned my lesson. Yeah. But uh, we'll, work that out of we'll see what happens. Okay. So, all right. Want to give me lunch? All right. Yep. You ready? All right. Into the wind. All right. Ready? So now I'm pulling for you because I don't got anything to lose. Slick. 98. 98. Oh. We got two to go. You can do it. I know you can. Thank you, brother. Give it all she's got. <laughs> oh man. Great job, well, man. Thank you. You want to do another flyby? Yeah. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> so we hit right. 100, that's all that matters. Bring it in all safely, right. so. We can hang on the wall. Yeah. Well, guys, I got to say, this is uh, amazing. Uh, Chad Caffrey, the director, designed this. Uh, last night, about what time, Chad? About 12 midnight. 12 midnight, and uh, it flies amazing. I'm sure it'll be planned up on the web all Hobby King parts, and actually it was cheaper to build than the first one we did. But uh, yeah, well, you know what? We got over 100. Yeah, we did you it. You still won the bet. I guess we're both victorious yeah. in the end. I'm, yeah, well, I'm, I'm happy. happy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, well, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks Hobby King for sponsoring this episode. And now we got to go do some shopping, huh? Yes. 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 He's going to have some fun up. with this. Yeah, it's going to be good. All right. All right we'll see Take you. Take care.